Today we're going to create a book cover using Adobe Photoshop and Lulu's cover template downloads. Let's get started. The easiest way to create a book cover in Adobe Photoshop is with a template from Lulu's free design bundles. So for this demonstration, we're going to use a US trade paperback. Navigate to the Publishing Toolkit under the Resources tab on lulu.com. Underneath the Preformatted Interiors section, you'll see the Design Guide Bundle section. Select your trim size, then click Download. This will download a folder to your computer that contains a book creation guide PDF, interior and cover template files, and Adobe PDF job options. Now let's open the cover templates folder to find the correct template. We'll set up our file for a paperback book, so I'll find my Photoshop template within the paperback folder. The first thing we see when we open the file is a one-page document with a template guide layer displaying the areas for our front cover, spine, and back cover. This guide layer also shows us the paperback trim and bleed specifications, as well as the default spine width. We'll first make sure our color settings are appropriate. Go to Edit, Color Settings, and under Working Spaces, we want our RGB color profile to be sRGB and our CMYK color profile to be US web coded. Click OK. Now we'll load the Lulu PDF export preset to ensure our settings are correct when saving the file. Click on Edit, Adobe PDF Presets, click Load, then locate the Lulu Cover Print PDF .job options file within the Adobe PDF Job Options folder in our template bundle. Click Open. Be sure the new Lulu preset is highlighted in the Presets window and click Done. Lastly, we need to calculate our spine width and adjust our canvas size. We'll show you how to adjust the spine width for both a hardcover and paperback book. Locate the book creation guide in the folder you downloaded, open it, and go to the Spine Width Calculations section. Since we're adjusting our spine width for a paperback book cover first, We'll use the formula shown. My interior is 246 pages. We'll take 246 and divide by 444, then add 0.06 and round to the fourth decimal. Our calculated spine width is 0.6141 inches. Our Photoshop document is set up with a default spine width of 0.1321 and a total document width of 12.38. In order to adjust our canvas size correctly, we need to subtract the default spine width of 0.1321 from our calculated spine width of 0.6141, which equals 0.482. Now we'll add this number to the total document width of 12.38 to get the correct document size. Our new document size is 12.862. Now we'll adjust the canvas size. Click Image, Canvas Size. Change the units to inches if they're not already. Change the width to 12.862 and click OK. You'll see the document width has expanded for our adjusted spine. Now we'll adjust the template guides. Click on the Path Selection tool in the toolbar, then select the Spine layer under the Template Guides folder in the Layers panel. In the top options bar, right click the width box and change the units to inches, then change the width from 0.13 to our new spine width of 0.6141. You'll see the spine width guide has expanded. Now we just need to realign our guide layers. With the move tool selected, click on the spine guide layer and click center align in the top options bar. If the align toolbar is grayed out, Click the three dots next to the tool, then change the Align To option to Canvas. Select the front guide layer and click Right Align, then select the back guide layer and click Left Align. The guide layers should now be positioned correctly. Now, let's adjust the spine for a hardcover version of the same book. I'll go to my Design Bundle folder and find my hardcover Photoshop template. When I open it up, you'll notice a few differences from the paperback cover template. The cyan area represents the portion that is wrapped around the cover board. The document page size is slightly different as well. This is to account for the cover board since it is slightly larger than the trim size of the interior. This time, we'll determine our spine width by referencing the hardcovers table in the book creation guide PDF. 
Since our page count is 246, we'll reference the 223 to 250 page range that shows 0.813 inches as the intended spine width. Back to my Photoshop document, I'll go through the same steps as before. I'll subtract the template default spine width of 0.25 from my actual spine width of 0.813 to get 0.563. Then add that to the total document width, making our new canvas width 14.563. Then I'll go to Image, Canvas Size, and change the width to 14.563. Now I just have to adjust the size of the spine guide using the Path Selection tool and align each guide to the correct spot. Now that our document is set up, we can start designing. Let's fast forward a little bit to get to the end of the design process to see how we can save our PDF. Our final result will be a one-page PDF spread of our back cover, spine, and front cover with bleed included. Be sure to hide the template guides layer if you haven't already, then click File, Save As. Name your file and choose where you want to save your PDF. Select Photoshop PDF from the Format dropdown and click Save. In the Save Adobe PDF window, choose Lulu Cover Print PDF from the Presets dropdown, then click Save PDF. That's it! Now your book cover is ready to print. For more information on how to prepare an interior PDF, check out our other tutorials, and as always, let us know if you have any questions. <laughs>